Hey friends, uh, it's your girl. I'm back, recovered from COVID. Thank you for all the um, kind wishes and um, advice that I've gotten from a lot of you on Instagram and here um, and over on my Patreon. You guys are wonderful and very sweet, so thank you. I'm all better now. And I just wanted to jump in here and give you a quick intro to what you're about to watch because um, somebody didn't hit record on the intro that they filmed. So um, this is, you're about to meet my best friend, Erica. I have two very close girlfriends in my life that I'm so grateful for, and Erica is one of them. And um, she posts a lot of gardening content on TikTok, um, some house plant stuff too. And she's gonna tell you kind of her mission um, in the gardening space. And we're just gonna hang out and, and laugh and plant some seeds and repot some house plants. And it's basically just 40 minutes of chilling with some girls. Um, it's a great thing to throw on in the background while you're doing your house plant chores or if you're falling asleep or whatever. I know some of you guys really like these chatty videos. Videos. So I'm super happy to keep making them with my friends and people that I find interesting. So if you're into that sort of thing, then uh, stick around and you can meet Erica. All right, Miss Erica, why don't you introduce yourself to the peoples? I'm Erica with Nasima's Garden. I um, am Pam's bestie. We have known each other for how long now? 15 years? 15 at least, yeah. 15. And we started out hyper focusing on yarn and knitting, and now here we are with plants and gardening and yeah. all things that way. Full circle. Full circle. It's like, <laughs> but we're always some kind of like home makey, homebody people, right? Yeah, so, definitely. So I love, I garden in zone 9A, which is totally different than when I grew up in. Michigan, I went, uh, you know, my mom is a master gardener. So she, you know, always had a garden and always had flowers. And I can remember as a kid that my mom, um, just running through the tomatoes that my mom was growing and the smell of the tomato plants, like just reminds me of childhood immediately. So I've always like had a tomato plant around or had a house plant around, but it didn't become like a focus, as you know, until the last like few years, pandemic, this whole like weird ways of the world that's going on. So um, yeah, I am all about it now. I have a giant box of seeds sitting here staring in my face and a hundred house plants to prove it. So <laughs> <laughs> Comes at you fast. I'm potting up this um, epipremenum, which I know that I now say right. Yay, internet. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Um, that is like really upset at me. So I'm going to pot her up and see if we can make her a little bit more happy. Here on Pam's Pretty Plants, we never say anything right. So um, <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> I will know how to say something. And the second I start recording, I'm like, how did you say that again? And then I'll say it <laughs> totally wrong and have to like deal with that when I'm editing. Like, oh. Well, I never <laughs> under, I never like had even any idea on how to like say that word, epipremenum. I was just like the epipens, like, yes. it just reminded me of that. I think I skipped some. I'm like epipremenum, <laughs> which is like, no, that's, that's not what it is either. Then you're going to get the guy in the comments going, you know um well actually, actually and it's always a guy no one how you say it i only learned it on tiktok so and i only learned it because i heard somebody say it and i played the tiktok like several times and repeated it <laughs> <laughs> you're like got it what are so, you potting up i'm um going through right now and i'm pulling all of my leafy greens that i'm going to be starting for my fall garden because we are coming up on the time to get um some of these things going indoors and outside for our cooler growing months which i can't believe it's already time to think about that i'm actually I feeling a little that. late i know and you're zone seven right or are you eight i am zone six b um, and I'm right on the border of seven and I'm in like a very weird microclimate where it, it tends to be a little cooler here in the summer because we have like a nice breeze, but it also like seems to warm up sooner in the spring. I don't know. It's very, it's a weird microclimate. I haven't quite figured it out, but I've been trying to keep notes and stuff because it's, it feels like my garden is completely different than people who live a mile away, you know, it's, it's, it's wild. So, and so you guys are like in the middle of your basically growing things as a fruitless effort 
season, right? Yeah, I'm in the middle of like what we, I was told by an older gardener a couple, like last year in one of the, for, that I met that this is like this season, July, like late July to August, the beginning of September is the equivalent of our winter. Nothing grows, everything croaks, you know, all of that work that you put in that you were like harvesting and you get used to it, right? Cause you're yeah. harvesting all these tomatoes. And then all of a sudden, like every blo- blossom falls off Ugh. and you know, all that. So devastation. yeah, it's devastation. It's very different, but the good news is, is that I get to have a second spring. Now I have enough time before my first frost that I can plant tomatoes again that's amazing that is not something we enjoy up here we do get a second spring but not a second tomato season (laughs) second tomato season I basically um from what I've gathered and from and from my experience I think we have basically three tomato growing seasons and I just put up two fingers like a dum-dum look at that (laughs) So before zoom activities (laughs) kicking in right now but yeah look at the roots on this baby look roots can you see? Yeah, pretty big, pretty big. But yeah, so I'm really excited that I get to do like a second chance at spring and I get to plant all of my like hot weather crops again. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to have um, some lettuce coming back in my life because there's just I don't even really <laughs> try to grow it in, in July because it's just no. It, even if it grows, it just isn't the same. And in the spring, it's so like. Oh, it's just like crispy and, and delicious. And in the summer, it just tastes a little bit like battery acid. <laughs> a lot like battery acid. Yeah. yeah, I'm not a giant fan, but I had you grow anything inside? Not yet. I would like over winter, I would really like to grow some like little chilies and some of those bonsai cherry tomatoes because I think I could give those. And I kind of want to use that irrigation system that you sent me which you guys will see you'll see dope. um and i'm thinking that might be the way to do it because if i've whenever i've tried to grow stuff indoors before it's just my irregular watering habits just always end up they really hurt edibles so yeah um, i think with that little little drip irrigation system that might make that possible for me oh that's a smart use friend so i didn't even some- consider that Planting some Marvel of Four Seasons lettuce right now because it is okay. heat tolerant. So just in well, case the weather decides to fuck around more. It's going to. Yes. We're in La Nina, right? Is that what's going on? Yeah, I think that's what all the TikTok people say is that it's <laughs> La Nina and we should be expecting that the north will get... Um, will get drenched and the and the south will get be dry. Well, so the opposite of what's happening now. Well, exactly. We are on day gosh, I don't even know how long, but we're in we're officially in severe drought now. We have been moved up as of last week. Um, which I you know, usually we have somewhat dry summers, but I mean, not like this. I think the last time this happened was like 2008, so that would have been like 14 years ago. Oh my god, that was 14 years ago. Hello. That's when my son was born. It's the only reason I can do that math that fast. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't you uh, tell the people a little bit about what you do on TikTok? Because Erica is a TikTok person. I am a TikTok person. I really feel like it it goes well with my ADHD, like the quick form, the quick dopamine hit, the quick, you know? Makes sense. It makes total sense. But um, first of all, can we just uh, admire how beautiful she looks in this poll? That was the right decision. Yes, that was a great decision. Tell myself that my goal is to give quick tips to people and encourage new gardeners and make it easy and fun and accessible. Because as you know, I have some health issues and some, um, I have an autoimmune issue. I have chronic pain. I've had fibromyalgia. I have a really bad back. I have severe degenerative disc disease in my back. And so I always thought that gardening was out of my reach. I thought that gardening was just too physically taxing on me. And I found ways that I can garden and 
that make it accessible to me and easy and easy on my body and able to do it will, will I have the spoons. So I love to, I want to share it with everyone and shout it from the rooftops. <laughs> Hell yeah. Gardening is for everyone. It's for everyone. Absolutely. Everywhere you can do it. You can do it. If you so, want, of course. <laughs> if you want to. Yes. I'm and not going to bully you about it. <laughs> maybe a little. Just I'm going to bully you a tiny bit, but maybe bit. but not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to try this soilless medium that I got. It's, um, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I think there's like rice holes and some other stuff in here. Wow. Um, I won it on a clubhouse call. So that's very cool. I'm going to use this soilless medium in cups to start some more seeds. What are you starting today? So today I am going to start, let me pull out my seeds. I, all these seeds that you sent me, I'm like, by the way, I'm starting a lot of the ones that you sent me. Sweet. I know, but I really have to get this jack-o'-lantern pumpkin started. I got to get this one going because I have one of those amazing molds. Have you seen those? The pumpkins that shaped into a, a, a skull. A skull. You showed me the pictures, and I'm so excited to see Dude, how that I'm comes so out. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. The stars on my loofah are going to be awesome too. So that's why I really got to start this this pumpkin. And I thought this melon. How fun would a would a because I've got all these these um, molds, right? Mm -hmm. I thought this melon would be a cool Frankenstein. Yes. <laughs> what she's talking about are these plastic molds that um, they, as the vegetable grows, it's it's supposed to grow into the shape of the mold. So she's testing them out and I'm very excited to see if they work because if they do, I'm going to have some absurd pumpkins next year. <laughs> it's so completely our aesthetic, right? Like, oh, absolutely. Because <laughs> we're way more like Adam's family than Brady Bunch. So. <laughs> All right. I'm um, moving on to some more uh, baby lettuce. Look at these cute little heads of lettuce. Oh, how cute those They're are. They're like this big. They're so cute. Well, okay. I'm going to try this one too. This, this um, birdhouse gourd. I know it takes like a lot of days. How many days does it take? 90 days. So I'll be pushing that. it, but yeah. I think I have that. I so. think you got that. Really, we don't even really get frost. Then. Yeah. Even though it's a first frost date, it's the, the ground is too warm to really get frosty, frosty. Um, Mind blowing. It's crazy because growing up and living in the Midwest, I, I certainly didn't experience that. So learning to garden down here, has been a whole like learning curve for me. Yeah. Because I mean, where we're, I mean, in zone five in Michigan, I, you know, five, six, you can't get enough uh, sun on tomatoes. You, you know, you, there's no such thing as too much sun in the middle, even in the middle of the July. Yeah. Like, well, here they get too much sun in like May. So. <laughs> I had to put my tomatoes under a shade cloth. Like, what is a shade cloth? We are. I'm hoping going to have at least at least a tolerable October. If we can get through October without like snow, mm. I should be able to grow everything that I want to get done. <laughs> um, but last year we had a very stormy season in the fall. So um, I'm interested to see what happens because we've had so little precipitation in, the, in New England over the last, you know, two and a half months or so. But last year, if you remember, we had like those borderline hurricanes that like we had one that landed mm -hmm. right on my city. Like it just like was like right into the right into the bay right yeah. down the street from where I live. And I was like, oh, yeah. shit. So, I mean, I think I still have the yeah, I do. I still have the ratchet straps over my high tunnel just to keep it on the ground. I remember storm. when that storm was coming through and we were so worried about your high tunnel. I know. And it ended up, everything ended up being fine. It broke like, it broke some, you know, flower stalks and stuff. But other than that, it, the garden did well. And I think it's because where I am kind of, it comes down just a little bit. So, and then there's houses all around me and then um, you the bushes the wind. help. So yeah it's not it wasn't too bad so hopefully this year we won't have anything too scary we storms are used to be kind of fun up here um but we've had so many bad ones in, in the country that like every time a storm happens now like i can't even get 
weather excited about it, even though I'm, I do get weather excited about things. Well, everybody down here gets excited for hurricanes because it's like, woo, it's yeah, a party. You're all tapped down there at this point, it's right? Florida, man, yeah, first exactly. of all, we got that whole thing. <laughs> but yeah, because you just get kind of like immune to it. And I've only yeah. lived here, what, four or five years? And which is crazy to say, I've lived here that long, but oh, yeah. Um, I know. Um, I think probably four years now, you know, like even just coming through like what I've been through, I just like, okay, I'm just prepared. I'm going to make sure that I have food in my pantry, you know, make sure that everything is secure as it can be, but you get kind of like wary of it. You don't, it's not a big deal after a while because it's just happened so much and nothing happens. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, after that, there's no way you can not have some like delusional sense of your own uh, self-preservation. You're just like, no, I got this. I, I, I lived through that. So yeah, yeah, like they they were like, oh, this hurricane a couple of years ago. I don't remember which hurricane it was, but she was supposed to be coming in terrible and it was supposed to be hitting our area. And I was like, oh, my God, this is going to be terrible. And it was bad even like my employer at the time prepared and had an emergency plan and everything. And it was supposed to be terrible. And it was like rain <laughs> for a few days, you know, I mean, the power never went out, nothing, you know, so. That's so dangerous too. Cause then like when it is bad, everyone's like, whatever. <laughs> Absolutely. People are just like, yeah, I'm cool. I don't, I don't need to, you know, I don't need to be be listening to these guys on the TV because whatever they say doesn't 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 come to fruition. So it's all a lie. It's all a lie. <laughs> we are back. Yes. I have a whole tray of lettuce planted. I filled all of my cups with my soilless medium that I'm going to use to start some seeds in. Hopefully, these pumpkins and whatnot will will like this medium. This is my first time using something like that. I usually just use potting soil. I think as long as it does it, cause it has like no food in it or anything, right? It's just a sterile medium. Yeah. It's just a sterile, like soilless medium. Fine. That's got like, it's made from cocoa quar and some yeah. other like rice hulls and seed starting whatever. is pretty much the thing that I, I, that cocoa never really bothers me. Like I, I can, I can go either way. I usually get the pro mix and it's like a mix of it or whatever, but, um, you know, I think that, the, like, this point, like, with the whole battle on the peak thing, I think, like, there's a lot of problems with the cocoa, too. So, like, when I get the 50-50 mix, I'm like, whatever. I'm either going to equally upset people or equally, you know, make them happy. I don't know. <laughs> They're all going to hate me and it's going to be fine. <laughs> all right. So, yeah. I got some spinach here. So, we've got three kinds of spinach. So, these are, um, you know, some hybrid kinds. I've never really tried to grow anything like these. So, we got the big ruffles, the salad sensation, uh, the space hybrid. The space spinach, though, that sounds like our, our next favorite euphemism. <laughs> I will never not call it that now. I didn't even so pick funny. that up because I had too much space finish before we started. When you sent that to me and I was um, actually on live on TikTok, which I love to do. It's so fun. I love to just, because with the ADHD, it's totally like body doubling. Yes. And so <laughs> I get so much crap done when I'm like body doubling and doing things and talking. Yep. Um, Same. So I love to do that. But this one is a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. So hopefully this little cup is going to grow up to be a skull shaped pumpkin. Makes my Halloween heart so happy. Right. It just makes the little witchy, the, the little Adams family the we are the weirdos mr pumpkin yes. come on <laughs> giving aging goth and i love it <laughs> yes that's my like, my... aesthetic for my 40s it's going to be the aging goth aunt aunt i'm i'm the aging unicorn auntie so it's, it's perfect got the jack-o'-lantern planted nice um now which one should i plant oh the watermelon because we got to have a heart-shaped watermelon right I wish I could. I'm going to next year. Damn it. Next year is the year I'm going to try watermelon. I, I keep saying I'm going to do it. And then I plant so much stuff. I don't have any room for it. 
and we have to have like a short season watermelon here because you know new england so right well this is a bush variety this one that you sent me is a bush variety yes i want to try that i was looking at that yesterday so i'm oh and the seeds are tiny so it must not be a very big well it's a sugar baby so yep it's you know 12 pounds it says so let's let's see if i i had mild success with mine until the squash or the some kind of a vine eater ate it and i hate them so much i hate squash vine borers they ate my zucchini they ate my pumpkin they ate i think they ate my watermelon um like so, I know yeah. they probably have some place in the ecosystem, but I don't give a shit. I hate them. I'm the kind of gardener that if you take out one plant, I'm going to be like, okay, that's my entry fee, right? Like yes. this is for the gardener. This is yes. for the garden, not for the gardener, right? Yeah. So <laughs> if, if something eats it, okay. Or if you take out a few of my fruit, all right, I'm going to be pissed, but I'll get over it. Just give me a chance to get like one or two and then you can kill it. It's fine. I'll but you can, more. Right. I'll plant some more. Like, it'll be fine. But I'm you very can't. understanding, you know? Right. And they're just I'm disrespectful. Like, you know, it's so disrespectful <laughs> and so aggressive. They are just so aggressive. Do I want to grow broccoli? Oh God, you want to grow it, but can you grow it? Will it grow? Do I even like it enough? <laughs> I I, see, I love broccoli. I love broccoli soup. That would be amazing. That's true. Broccoli soup is good. I do like it. Do I want to grow it though? Yeah, see you do. Yeah, probably. This one because is 50 to 85 days. How many days do you have to frost? I have no fucking idea. <laughs> That's a really good question. <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> I think I have like a hundred and something days, like a hundred and twenty or hundred and forty days. I have roughly ridiculous. sixty days left. So do you have enough time for broccoli? That's not very long, friend. That's my little warning. It says 50 to 85, but it can take a little bit of a frost, right? Yes, it can take frost, especially if you cover it. Yeah, it'll be fine. And it likes it likes the cooler temperatures too, from what I understand. Yeah. I mean, I'm not I'm like talking like I fucking know. I can't. I've never, <laughs> <laughs> I've never gotten a broccoli to grow in my life. Uh, but we'll give it a shot. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like, if you don't try it now, you're gonna have to wait another year. So yes, you wanna have a pot of broccoli soup that you grew from seed. Yes. I'm gonna put that in the universe. So great. I made right? um like a rice and pepper and tomato and herb and um I use some of my frozen uh garlic pesto, like my garlic skate pesto mm. made a whole damn dish with stuff from my garden yesterday you you couldn't you couldn't have fucked with me all day i was like Poof. no you can't tell you nothing i just fed my damn self out of my garden except for the I rice it. but you know that's okay <laughs> well you know here here's the thing is like if you even just a couple of meals and that's, and people are like, oh, gardening isn't worth it, especially the first year. Like you have to put in so much money. And in my perspective, and this is what I try to p tell people on TikTok all the time, is that gardening is an investment and it's not, it's not something that you're going to put in. Like, it's not like you put it in and it's going to come back and yeah. you're going to see your return right away. It's an you're investment. You're learning a skill. And it's a skill and you're earning your green thumb by killing plants. <laughs> With every death, just another notch in the old noggin. So Absolutely. And it's just makes your thumb a little bit greener, right? Yes. Every plant that you kill, then. Yes. That's why I try well, to tell people that are like, I have a, a brown thumb or black thumb or whatever. I'm like, Psh, you're just on your way. That's all. You're just. Right. I mean, you have to actively, re I mean, some people will obviously lose interest. And then of course, if you've lost interest, that's fine. But like, if you still want, if the want is there, the way is there. It is, it is the way it goes. You just, all Absolutely. your skills 
It's just wait for all the information to come to you via just catastrophe. And that's how I've learned everything I know. <laughs> all the information comes via catastrophe. And that, if that is not like some sage gardening advice, I don't know what is. <laughs> some Gemini ass shit right there. That's, 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 that's what it is. That's... You learn that the wall is hard by running into it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to get some broccoli rob seeds. Actually, I think I got some, but I... I didn't, I didn't, haven't planted it yet. I'm going to plant it in my next season when it gets a little bit more cold. Cause like I said, we have so many days to frost here, Ugh. which isn't even really frost because it's not really a frost. So it's, it's a, it's a, a fur, it's a frost. <laughs> it's a fur. A frost. It's a fur. It tries so hard <laughs> to be a frost, but it's not. So birdhouse gourd is going in next. Look at these weird ass seeds. Do you see how the shape they are? Hold on. Oop. That looks like a cat treat. It doesn't. It? <laughs> it's weird, and the the whole shape is funky. Oh wow! It's like someone clipped a almond with a toenail clipper. Yep, it's bizarro. <laughs> nature, nature is wild, and oh, I forgot nature. to plant kale. Fuck. Oh, you need to get some kale. Do you have any more? Jiffy pods? I do. These weird <laughs> ass little. Wait, do I? Oh no, are they gone? No, they're right here. So if, if anybody watching this, if anybody's still watching this, um, is anybody, <laughs> has anybody ever used these things? Do they suck? I'm just, I'm just can you tell me down below just to, so I can prepare myself? Just prepare uh, for the suckage in yeah. advance. <laughs> right. These will have to be kale then, I guess. And, and it's just like a formal introduction to all of the cabbage butterflies that are hanging around in my yard right now, little bastards. <laughs> They're waiting for you. They're like, hello. Like, boop, 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 boop. I'm out in the garden. I'm like, you better knock it off. Stop flaunting your existence in my face. Get, okay? like, get go on. I already know what's going to happen. What do you do for pest prevention? Do you do anything? Nothing. No. Nothing. I don't do shit. I um I plant like trap crops a little bit, you know, like I'll have mm -hmm. all the calendula and stuff like that. And as soon as they start getting real buggy, I throw them in the garbage, like with the lid, you know, just to melt all of the bugs that are on it. And then um <laughs> and then I just let more come up because it just seeds itself. And those kind of take care of a lot of aphids. But I I sort of just let it go this year. I mean, I, I let it go every year, let's be real. But um, this year I intentionally let it go. And I saw um, that a bunch of ladybugs had made their way um, onto my property. And there's all these like ladybug larvae everywhere. And I was like, all right. And okay. I usually, around I now, I usually with have, you, ladybugs. Right? Like, welcome. Can I all get right. you anything? <laughs> How about some aphids? Here you go. It's also a lot of springtail um eggs on my i mean not springtail um i always say springtail and it's not what i mean what are they called lace wings i have a bunch oh, of lace wing wings. larvae all over my yard too so the good guys are finding me usually i have praying mantises coming pretty soon i usually spot them so i'm hoping that everybody handles it this year the pests have really not been bad if aphids oh. get crazy i just blast them off with a hose um and then it takes them like a week to get back to being annoying on my plants so then I just blast them again and then blast them again <laughs> yeah but see I I did nothing this season and I'm of the like I, I don't want to do anything I want to make my yard a, a nice habitat I want to have you know good bugs and I want to have the bad bugs too and like I said I'm willing to give up some of my crops. Yeah. But they decimated me so badly. I've I've some adopted just... now. Yeah. Well, and plus, remember where I live, fam? Yes. <laughs> they never die. <laughs> I live in a jungle. I live in Jumanji. <laughs> and the bugs are literally so huge. And they are everywhere. So, uh, you know, I, I've... Uh, I'm probably going to get roasted, but I adopted a little bit of a neem oil and soap regime just to soak my soil before I plant out. I'm not planning on soaking everything with neem all the time, but I just mm -hmm. did that in my soil and in my garden beds just to do a good neem soak is what they are, was what it was called. And so I feel like 
that makes it, like you said, it's just going to make their lives harder and it makes yep. it a, not a habit, of, you know, and, and not a nice place for the, the bugs. Yeah. So they can you go knock other the population places down. Just right. Want to knock that population down. That's like something that will help a lot more than people think, you know, it's like you wiping off like 10 eggs is literally taking away generations of pets that would have been in your yard. So I feel like even if it's, you know, even if you got to go nuclear sometimes, you know, it's just going to do it. You just got to do it. <laughs> I, you know, because I'm really, and, and, and maybe I'm a little bit tinfoil hat of me, but at this point in my life, with everything that's coming up with, you know, the shortages of food, the prices of food right now, yeah. I, it's not, gar I'm not gardening just because I want to, you know, learn the skill. Yeah. I'm gardening because I really want to eat. And <laughs> I love eating. I just, the ability I, to eat. <laughs> it's like, you know, I kind of like it. So I especially love to eat vegetables that didn't cost me anything. Yes. Anything that grows out of these cups that we're planting today costs me nothing, you know? Yep. So I, I, I feel like I have to kind of go nuclear at least in the beginning of the season to make it an inhospitable place for them to even start. So I, if I can at least get a tiny jump on them and they can at least get to my crops later and I can harvest more, I just want one harvest basket, Pam. Okay. I just want one harvest basket where you look so pretty on Instagram, like all those people on TikTok who are like, come on, let's go harvest with the basket. I just yeah. saw one harvest basket. It's a fair want. It's a fair want. After all the work we put in, like, it's just that harvest basket. You live for that first full basket. And I like, I got my first full basket last year. And like, I feel like this year I still haven't even gotten it because like my spring, I put so much flowers in the ground this year. I was like, Hey, you got to eat bro like what you do what? <laughs> i know you kept planting out flowers and i'm like but where's your cucumbers though girl and now the flowers are doing shitty and what little um vegetables i did get out into the ground are doing great so it figures um but once again i have my second season so i should <clears throat> figure out how to organize my seeds because if if this is not the most AD, it's like it, somebody's like, oh, you don't have ADHD. I, I will just say this. Look. <laughs> oh, really? You think I don't have ADHD? Really? That's so funny, friends. My house disagrees with you. Oh, how about some summer squash? I could totally grow some more golden zucchini. Yes. That's only 54 some days. Of those out too. I got to direct seed a few of those because I haven't thrown any so far this year. Mm. Have you seen zucchini crumble? No. Somebody said you make it just like apple crumble, but with zucchini instead. I just saw it on Instagram this morning. I will have to share that with you. Yeah, it is um, apparently a thing. I would eat that. I would probably eat that too. The person who made it that I saw was like, meh about it. Sounds good to me. I mean, you make zucchini bread, right? Zucchini yeah. fritters. and I love zucchini bread. I haven't made any of that this year either. Where the hell is my kale? To look in the, in the ye old seed box. Oh, see, you, you have a doom seed box too? Yeah, but you're going to hate me because mine's so organized. Oh, I love it. Oh, I want that. That's what I want. I need that so bad. Like, this is just the first year that I've started to, like, get into the seeds. It'd be last time I, I used everything right away. But yeah. this is, like, the first time I'm actually, like, you got, trading like, a seed collection. and then collecting. And, I got this at know. Staples, and it is supposed to be for, like, CDs. And I went to pick it up and I was like, I have the CD holders. And the kid went, because, you know, he was too young. To... He's like, what's the CD? Yeah. <laughs> like, what, you had a what? <laughs> like, Why do you need mind. to hold them? <laughs> oh, look. Look what I just pulled up. Broccoli. I broccoli. can't start growing that yet. 
I've got, oh, I could do some arugula. I could do some more green beans. I've got lots of green beans going, or lots of different types of beans going already outside. I tried to, because as we were saying, I want to eat what I'm growing. Um, and I, I, I like it to be free food, right? Yeah. And meat is expensive right now. And so I'm thinking to myself that, uh, you know, we're eating a lot more like vegetarian meals. We're eating a lot more beans and peas and stuff. So I started to grow a bunch of shelling peas and beans, shelling beans. So the kind that you dry and you know, black beans and mm -hmm. that kind of thing. So I'm growing a ton of those this, this season. I'm growing them right now. So I find like, I feel like that's a good way to bulk up my pantry is have a bunch of beans you know what I'm saying? That has like, to be super satisfying to make bean soup out of your beans. Like, I'm hoping mine actually work out this year. They look super good right now. Um, they're starting to get that, like, little, like, rusty, like, spotty thing at the bottom. But everything else looks really, really good. And they're all starting to come in now. So I'm thinking this might be, like, the best bean harvest I get. Because usually disease just, like, wipes them out super fast. Um, but I've been really good about fertilizing this year, making sure that everything is like got compost and the watering has been more even. So we're getting there. We're getting there. That's, That's right. Good feeling. Well, um, yeah. I just planted these stringless green beans because I planted yellow wax beans. I saw somebody here. I go talk about TikTok again. I saw somebody on TikTok who said he plants only yellow beans because it's easier to see when you go to harvest. You can harvest them quicker and you never miss them. <laughs> Literally, right? Like, so, like, that's so smart. <laughs> you like yellow and purple beans only. You want to check on this prop box with me? I haven't opened it in like a couple weeks. Hell yeah. So we, there's a, a local shout out to my local plant community. I love them. They have um, a swap. Look how cute this is. It's so look adorable. Oh. Um, <clears throat> look at this one. It's so, and look at the leaves and it's growing all these extra little. Oh my God, that is adorable. Isn't that so cute? Is that a peperomia? It's some kind of a peperomia. Like, a, look at it. It's like an elbow. Oh my God, I want one. They're so cute. Isn't it so cute? They're just, they're I love just the them cutest. too, and they're so easy here just, because we get so much. I just repotted this one. Oh, how cute is that? Oh, quadrilang quadrangul quadrangularis 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 something like that. Well, at my local swap, this is what this whole entire prop box came to be is because the we were at a local swap and this girl was like had a piece of the what's the what's the pothos that is the really white one not the snow queen but the really variegated white one i want to i, I know keep, what you're talking about and i'm like I'm fl i keep flaking out on it right there i just killed one <laughs> it's, this is the node look at this is the node i got from it oh so cute isn't it I cute look it's got a little bit of a boop 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 That'll grow in quick too. Those 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 flush out a lot faster than you would think. I just found some more peas. I got to put outside. Oh, that's put that so cute. Oh, is that looks like a um, yeah, what they're called too. It's the space spinach. It's the space spinach is getting to me. <laughs> it I makes know, for look cool atmospheric lighting though. <laughs> Look how cute, though. Oh, I love it. Look how cute this whole little prop box is. I, I love that. I have to do a bunch of cut and cropping. We should probably, I should probably send you some plants before it gets cold. I have so many things to cut. I would love that. I have so nothing many. more to cut because we have such a, like, an, every time we have, um, we have swaps every single month. 
And so I, I, every time I'm like, go to my mother plant, I'm like, snip, snip, snip. I'm just going to bring that this time. So like everybody in the city has cuttings of like my philodendron. So. <laughs> I have, I, I even, I even have you your do. philodendron. <laughs> I love that. I know I gotta get, I gotta find some plant friends. I don't have any like around here that do that kind of like swapping and stuff like that. So <sighs> just you I'm know does any plant friends out there uh somebody uh, someone came into mike's work and was like oh yeah i was like i i knew she was from around here i didn't want to freak her out and i was like <sighs> like that's probably good because it would have freaked me out um but you know <laughs> <laughs> but there has to be plant friends right leave a totally. comment i know you can be planty friends you don't have to dox yourself just you know like uh just get in touch. <laughs> get in touch. Get in touch. Let's go plant shopping or something. Right. Or we can swap some seeds. Yeah, <laughs> show you what's going into it. We've got some red Russian kale. I've been planting out oh, of this you found package it. for, this is literally from 2018 and they still come up. Um, <laughs> well, I got some dino kale, same thing. Old seeds still come up. I have some wasabi arugula from a company I, I don't like. I got this in a little seed swap. Um, oh yeah, but but we don't fuck with them. Um, no, we don't fuck with them in my in my life either. I don't yeah. really fuck with them. There's so many other options. Why not? And then these. Oh, mustard and what's that one? Some uh, tassoy mustard and premier kale. But all right, he, we're getting kicked off here soon. Yes, we are. Do you want to plug your TikTok real quick? Yeah, so come join me over on TikTok. And also September 5th, if that's okay with you, Pam, I'm going to do um, September. um, I'm going to do my September straw bale gardening class just in time for spooky season. Yeah. So I know that you came last time and I know that you, hopefully you enjoyed yourself and learned something. Um, I'll link everything down there. That's amazing. I'm going to have that class coming up soon and just in time for spooky season where everybody's going to be using those hay and straw bales. And that's where Zoom kicked us off. So you will find all of Erica's links down below. And if you made it to the end of this video, uh, leave a little leaf emoji down below if you can. Or just say that you got to the end of it. It's fine. All right. So I'll see you guys again very soon in the next one. Thanks for hanging out with us. Bye.